everyone and welcome back to round 5 of the season qualifier number 2 of the Great Yoga Games Invitationals 2019. My name's Mick. I'm one of your hosts alongside the Macho Man, Nat Caron. Hello. Hi. What's up, Nat? Not much. Just Not much. Uh, hungry. Just yeah. Like I'm when, you just, when you just only eat chicken, you're like... <laughs> nice, like oh man. When when did you start this diet? Like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh okay. So I just like cut all the carbs out. That's yeah. that's tough. Yeah. That's actually, hard. it's okay. Actually, you get to eat all this like good food, like fried chicken still. So it's actually not that bad. <laughs> uh, all right. So we what do we have? Uh, watching Kong Chong Ting. This is the first time he's been on the stream today, and we're watching uh, Tan Chin Hing. Who we watched the previous round, he's playing Mono Green Tron. Mm. Uh, but we're not quite sure what uh, Chong Ting is running, but we'll find out uh, soon enough. Anyway, these players all are in uh, win and in position. Looks like, gag. Looks like the yeah, whole gag for Chong Ting. Ho gag. All right, that's sweet. Uh, and yeah, um, you know, we saw, we saw Chin Hing. We did say Jin Heng was a win and in. Actually, Jin Heng was at uh, six points last game. So, so is this win and in for him? There are s there are six table, four more tables playing to for okay. for a position in the top eight. So even if even if he wins this, it's not a guaranteed. Uh, he wins this is a guarantee. Oh, it's a guarantee. So, so, so win and in for him. Table three, four, five, and six are playing it out to 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 make a spot into the top eight. This is table three, I recall. This right? is table four. Four. Table okay. four. Yeah. So yeah, everybody everybody's trying to get a spot into the top eight. And remember, you know, players are trying to do their best for the seasonal qualifiers, right? Uh, because you earn championship points, and championship points are what gets you invited to the Great Yoga Games Invitationals. Um, and you know, just sitting down at the sitting down at the competition is already money, right? You come on the invitationals day, you sit down, that's hundred and fifty dollars for you. Really? That's it. Oh, it's yeah. a lot of money just to play magic. Just yeah, you exactly. do well. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, it snowballs, right? You 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 do well and you get you invited do well. to the next yeah, one. You get invited to the next one and stuff like that. Uh, Jeffrey Chan, our last, our winner for the last two back years. Back to back, right? Yeah, back, yeah, to, back, back. to back. Crazy. Yeah, it's all skill. Who ever thought about, you know, who ever thought that was possible? Did Jeffrey win his last, ra last round? Uh, no, but Jeffrey's in a winning in position as well. So oh, maybe uh, maybe the dream is true. I believe this is a... This is he's a already invited for the invitation. Oh, he is? Now it's just like... Oh, he's invited. Oh, yeah, because he won last year's, right? Yeah, because he won I'm last tired. year. It's just seating, right? He will be invited to all the seasonal oh. qualifiers this year as well. And uh, yeah. So he's just playing for the sake of playing today, or no? I mean, like you need a leadership, need or like leader points, or what? Mm -hmm. Oh, these for points, okay. Because I think this is actually a mode of form on Ching Ying. Because like I think, I'm pretty sure he knows what Chong Ting is playing, and yeah, he, yes, he, he can't needs, afford he a slow hand. Like the, he needs the the in hand. He right? needs the nuts. He needs the nuts. Unfortunately, that's that's what this uh, this whole match. Revolves around. Hey. We could be just talking for like five minutes, and of that, you know, put on a replay for the next fifty, uh, uh forty-five. Hey, but the London Mulligan. This could, this could go like really, really fast. The London Mulligan allows you to be somewhat greedy, but I don't know if you're Mulligans. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a okay. Tough so match. he puts three to three to the bottom. Yeah, three to so the bottom. Yeah, this is the Mulder four. Okay. All right. So that's actually a good card, right? Yep. That is good a card in the matchup. Start off, yeah. Uh, Rally of Progenitors, not usually in the main board for, for Tron, but I think in the recent years, because of Dredge and, and yeah. stuff like that, like Tron has been, has had to play, you know, Rally of Progenitors. Not only Tron is playing cyborg cards in the main <laughs> deck. <laughs> Every deck is playing cyborg cards in the main deck. Yeah. Uh... Vela, Vela 01, thanks for the follow. Uh, you've been asking for the, the blue-white list. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, the blue-white list from last week. The The game that you were watching was a replay. So, yeah, sorry, can't can't provide that. I wish I could. I wish I could. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for the follow. And remember, if you do like what... What you do, what you see and hear, do follow us on our, all our social media feeds. That's when you, uh, you know, you get updated on the latest tournaments and the shows that we do here on Grey Over Games. Okay, so Peter Sluding or was a Citrus Supplier? Peter Sluding gets to play. Yeah. Oh, double, because double oh. 
double um oh, too easy. What's it called? Oh. Oh. Blood gas. Double blood gas. Too easy. Yeah. Too easy. We'll there you see. go. He found his creatures to cast the combo. Yeah. <laughs> he cast. He found the creatures to cast whole gecko. Yeah. So I, I think you, you put, put the two blood. Uh, okay. So I think you put the Venge vine in. That's correct. Venge vine and the blood gas. Well, th- like, does he have? It all depends if he has grave crawler or stitches supplier in hand. Mm. Like, what creatures can he cast? Because he could cast the the stitcher supplier, oh, yeah. and then possibly mill a grave crawler, or just cast whatever stitcher. If he's if he's another one drop creature, yeah. In uh, you know, it could be an insulin neonate. It could be uh, another stitcher supplier. Don't forget, he also doesn't want to go all in against his relic. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. So maybe uh, maybe he wanted to not pitch a second um. He he's waiting gas. for Jin Hing to like there you go. fire off. Oh, Jin Hing just fire off. Like really, really quick. Oh, got two out of three trunks. Oh, is yes. this the nuts? Come oh crap, this is really Jin good. Hing, yeah, <laughs> Jin, Hing, got, Jin Hing has got a fight in him, man. Yeah, this is like, <laughs> hey, this is actually pretty close. If and he, if he drops another th- trunk, he, ha- so he has a con in hand. Yeah, you know? he's got a con in hand. Oh no. <laughs> Chong Ting may be in a little bit of trouble here. The gag. The nuts. The gag is not fighting back. It's so strange, right? Like, we haven't seen, like, whole gag around, you know, because everybody's been playing, like, their sideboard cards in their the main deck. The main deck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Satire Wayfinder here, just to fill up more cards into... Oh, we see a gag, a p- push, graveyard. a supplier, and a uh, card, I don't know. Uh, Satire Wayfinder. Nope. Oh, Lot Left Troll. Lot, lot Left. All right, so that gets that gets eaten up. Hmm, really? Do you take the... Do you... The push or the troll? Which one do you exile? Uh, I I would actually take the, the push the push push push. It doesn't matter. It excels both. Yeah, and so do we have? No, I don't think we have it. No turn three tron sadly. But he's got dude. He's got like Sylvan crying in hand. Oh, he didn't cast it this turn though. Yeah, Press he back. can. He can. He needs. Yeah, green. green. He needs one. He can make a green, but no other mana. Mm-hmm. So it's what turn four tron. If he okay, if he turn if he four tron. Yeah. Turn four can't. That's yeah. more. That's more impressive. No. Like, no, this is this is turn. Now it's turn. Okay, never mind. No, yeah, Jin Hing is going to go to turn four anyway. Like, this is fine. I think yeah. this is great because he's gonna get back all these. So oh. I believe this whole gag. If if you if this is this is a player hits the field, that's gonna be three cards ETP, three cards in the graveyard when he sacks the Karen feeder. Right. Uh, then that's enough cards to cast whole gag. Correct. Yeah. But that that prompts a sack of the relic from Ching Hing. Mm. So this is fine actually. I think this is fine because like Chin Hing is worried about um potentially the the whole gag that's already in the graveyard. Now there is no there is no other <laughs> whole gag in the graveyard. <laughs> but but he's gonna be exiling like five cards from the graveyard. Jin Hing's just gonna slam the the uh, the Khan and get rid of that whole gag yeah, or at least so get rid of that whole gag the part gag. one right S- oh, I'm gonna make a call here did you, did you watch Naruto Shippuden uh no okay never mind. so there's one scene where this bad guy Madara right he calls like okay. a giant asteroid from the planet right mm-hmm. and the whole shinobi forces stop like one <laughs> <laughs> then he's like how about a second one <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I, every time I see this like play like oh another whole gag <laughs> Another one just comes, <laughs> comes in. <laughs> it's like just to obliterate. Yeah, it's like everyone like uses all their power to stop the first like giant meteor. And then like everyone. Then, like, 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 oh, then like, like the second one comes down <laughs> and destroys everyone. Because you don't see the second one because it's being blocked by the first one. Something like that. Uh. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, so uh, this is a Sylvan Scrying, I believe, for the last Tron land. I don't know yeah. if he drew it naturally. But uh no, he's still crying for the tron for the for the land. But so he's I gonna be able to to crack that expedition map and then get another tron land. Potentially for an, an Ugin, but I don't think it's enough. Chin Hing here is gonna take a whole bunch of damage. This is eight nine. Karen Feeder, I believe, has one oh. or two counters on it. Yeah. But uh, it's at least it's eleven damage. It's got one counter on it. So eleven? Um, one, two, three. Yeah, eleven. Dep- eleven, 11 damage. Sure, it's a two turn clock. The only way was okay. So my question is that: it, was there a window for Chin Hing to 
prevent this and I don't believe so because of the two cards in the already Oof. in the graveyard. Assassin's Trophy here takes out uh, one of the Tron lands. Uh oh. Oh, make sure there's no, whoa, whoa, whoa. no shenanigans. Okay. Uh, so, you know. But uh, trof- the map is to the crack, right? To the crack. Yeah. Map. Okay. To the crack. So, the the, w- the question was that does did Chin Hing have a window here to have prevented all this? And I believe no. not. Because when the Stitcher Supply hits the battlefield, there'll be a trigger on the stack. Yeah, trigger on the stack. Three cards hit the grid. Oh, no. There was. There was. There were only two cards in the graveyard and one of it was Hogak. Okay, so let the trigger resolve first. Let the trigger resolve first. The thing first. is, when the trigger resolve first, there might already be enough cards in the graveyard. There's not, there weren't enough. Because that's three plus two, that's five. Five, then I believe no, has to No, but one of play. the two cards that were inside the graveyard was, was Hogak. Hogak. Oh, no, no, no. He'd have, sorry, yeah, he'd have four plus three creatures, so that's seven mana. Yeah, okay, yeah. forget it. So the trick, yeah, I believe so Chingin, no, yeah. I believe Chingin thought about it. Like, do I let the trigger resolve first? No. Yeah, or do I just crack it? I, he he com- like he's a good enough player to think about mm. those type of things. Yeah. So yeah. That's true. So you know, there were I don't think there was any way that that, that Chin Hing could get out of that. And but that might have the fall. Valiant effort for a more to fall, you know? Yeah. Man, you can't ask for more. He could, you know, and, and I'm pretty sure like he's got like good cards against uh against Chong Ting in this matchup. Uh I don't know. They, they, they graph diggers cage would be all, uh, excellent. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I know Eldrazi Tron runs cards like uh, like how's, uh, I'll, let me pull up the mono green Tron list. Why? Because I know they they play different sideboard cards. I think it would be under like combo, right? Combo is Tron combo. I think control is control. Yeah, there's a there's. I think type in uh, Urza Tron. We. Urza Tron. I think it's here already actually, but okay. Yeah. Tron. No, but this is ah. There we go. Mono Green Tron, Jim Muller. Uh, dismembers Emraku, Promise End, Leila of the Void, okay. Nature's Claims, uh, Spatial Contortion, Tractors, Veil of Summer, Warping Wheel. So obviously Leila Leila of the Void goes in. Um, th- Relic is already in the main board, so that's seven pieces of hate against Hogak. Uh, and I think that's fine. You probably take out stuff like walking ballista. Doesn't seem all too relevant uh, for the for the uh, lane of the void. So three walking ballistas and maybe one chromatic star for lane line, tr- uh, for lane lines. Okay. Or you might take out the relic of progenitors as well. But I believe like Chin Hing. Why would it? Why would we take out relic of progenitors? No, because like you want the four. You definitely want four lane lines. Right? Oh yeah, you, you, and so and three relic. And three relics. Yeah, so I think no, you just play too much, man. No, that's it's too much. It's <laughs> no, that's not too much. I don't think so. Too much or something. It's just as tough. It's hard. Anyway. Uh so yeah, Chin Hing gets to go on the play this turn. And hopefully don't mulligan down to oblivion. Because that last I mean like you know, I don't think one card would have made a difference in that in that game. Uh, but who knows? Maybe maybe it would have. Okay, cause so the mono the colors of Tron deck actually has Khan, the great creator, into something like Ensnaring Bridge. Or yeah, so uh, I was I was trying to I was trying to something. think, right? But and we know he's mono green now. Yeah, yeah. That of the Rob the K after oh, the uh, sure. Assassin's Trophy. Yep. You know he is a so yeah. So what he has is just four ley lines. Well, four ley lines is enough, right? Like we we'll see we'll see if he does or no no nothing. no ley line here. Nothing. Whoa, variance has not been good at Shinging today. Yeah, he's got a mulligan again. And people say like Mono Green Tron is one of the. Decks that came out on top from the London Mulligan. Mm. But not here. Not today. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, not in today. this instance. We're not we're not showing you the class example. Like this is how the London Mulligan rule is getting abused. <laughs> no. No. Not, not exactly. Actually, to talk about the London Mulligan a little bit, I am mm. all for it. I like it. I think it's interesting, uh, you know, I would have I thought that it would the format yeah. to like combo uh you know massive massive combo decks but 
clearly I've been proven wrong but because to, Hogak is but Hogak is, Hogak a, is combo a combo deck. It's a combo it's a deck. Combo deck yeah. It's like a it's a it was a pure combo deck when Bridge was there, Ridge and Ulta, but now it's more of like a combo aggro. Combo aggro where you just like you the combos that it makes so much value. Mm. You just can't you can't win. Okay, so so it proves my point. Yeah, that like yeah, combo it, combo it, decks are like I like the in Oh my gosh, oh, another more. Press F, F in chat, guys. F. Yeah. Sorry, folks. Yeah, sorry, you were going to say. So what do you think about the, the London market? I think I think it makes games smoother, especially in like standard. That's great. But uh, Yeah, in limited as well. Yeah, in limited yeah. as well. But uh, the London Mulligan, it definitely... S- I can't tell if it made combo decks better or people were just... There's an uptick in combo decks because of the London Mulligan. You get what I mean? Because like at the beginning there was like this uh, hesitance. No, there was like a so brand deck, right? Grisho brand. Uh, no, there was a neoform. neoform. There's a neoform deck. I don't know if pl- there was an uptick in neoform because of the London Mulligan or the London Mulligan. You know what I mean? There's no, there's the definitely. I mean, like both of them are, are interrelated. Like, how right, much so. is the London Mulligan actually help neoform? Oh, plenty, man. Plenty? Like, okay. Neoform, you only need four cards, right? Not a deck Two anymore, lands. though. <laughs> yeah, it's not a deck anymore. <laughs> but why, why is that? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Alfian, why is Neoform not a deck anymore? No results. Yeah. Well, you know, you die to Leyline. You really? Uh, no, I no, don't no, think... No, 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 you don't die to Leyline. You got the Graph Digger's Cage. You, yeah, you die to Graph Digger's Cage, um, which isn't being played as a cyborg card right now. But... Honestly speaking, you attack with a 7-7 seven, seven flying uh, gain, the bane of legacy. gain 7 life. Draw 7. Draw 7, seven cards. Draw seven. It's not as good as a 8-8 eight, eight on turn 2 for 0 mana. That's that's the only reason why Neoform is a fact. Like, yeah. Because you can't win the game off of that. You still can't win the game off of that. It's dumb, right? Like it, it sounds crazy. But yeah, it is. It is, it is you, pretty crazy. You still can't win a game off of like beat your opponent for seven, gain seven life, draw, draw seven, seven cards, draw fourteen cards potentially. Actually, the more cards you draw, you're probably losing to the to the to, to the whole gag deck. Like, Even like faster. the yeah the swing back with like bridge vine, uh, yeah. bridge vine. Yeah. So, uh, that's probably why you know the the the, the deck isn't isn't gonna perform or isn't performing as well. Uh, come Monday, come tomorrow. If Hogak does actually get banned, oh, then it's tomorrow the BNR is tomorrow. Yeah, the the, the second BNR announcement. That's uh, is was it that Sunday night in US? But so yeah, Monday Singapore time. So actually, Monday we see it. We we don't we won't have a turn three Chon from Chongqing because of the basic forest. Yeah. So that's sort of a relief on for Chongqing side. Yeah. Uh, we see a fate suiting, um, off a. Black Cliff Cliffs pitching a gag and and I didn't believe that's a grave crawler. A grave crawler. Mm. Imagine if Hog Hogak is actually an avatar. Imagine it was a zombie. That'd be sick. No, that would be dumb. That would be. T- yeah, I think we had this conversation how Citrus Supply is actually kind of should not be, be a, a zombie. zombie. No, yeah, like no, the it supply is supplies zombie parts oh. and itself is a zombie. He supplies zombie parts. No, he supplies human parts. Oh yeah, sorry. Derp. <laughs> come on, he supplies human parts after eating the good stuff. <laughs> Then the spare parts go to the suppl- to the stitcher, right? He is the stitcher. Maybe the supply. stitcher only wants the top top stuff. I okay, don't know. Like, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> I don't know. That's a, there was a. I like how we're talking about like nothing to do with the game because we know like I'm pretty sure <laughs> something has it. <laughs> hey man, that's what you joined the stream for, right? So yeah, I mean, the economy w- the economy works. You can't always have the best parts as the stitcher because like you still need leg. You speaking of the um, speaking of the stitcher, <laughs> uh, thinking of whether to crack the um. Is it live from home? Uh no, no not live from home. No. Uh, might be force of vigor. Hmm. Might okay, be force a second gag, a green card. Uh, we think it's force of vigor. All right. So with the with the fetch on the stack. Yeah, so fetch on the stack that. going to blow out this entire graveyard. So, the thing is, if he actually ha- played a Dryad Arbor for that turn, he can actually cast Gek. Yeah. Because w- no- that's how priority works. Well, and he could just cast the... Um, uh, the No, he couldn't. Because the gra- if he cast a Gravecrawler, right, then you just crack it there. Mm. Yeah. 
See, I know my, I know how priority wow. works and stuff. Wow, 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 Level wow. zero judge. Whoa, not bad. Anyway, so um, <laughs> let's answer some of these questions that Johan is spamming in the chat. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so, so just want to... Okay, yep. Okay, so Veil vale Summer, I think, did he bring it in? I don't think so. No, I, okay. I don't think it's it's very uh, relevant. Can you crack Relic in response Hogak is better than Gris Neoform, yes. Okay, so Monday for us, BNR announcement. Yes. Is top eight a clean cut? Uh top eight is not a clean cut. You know, Mayo. table four uh table three, four, five, and six are playing to to get in. Uh let me uh and uh Johan's asking, can you crack Relic in response to Hogak cast? Nope. You can. You can, but you can. the whole gag resolves. It yeah, it, it doesn't do anything. But you can, res- you, can re- you can respond to the fetch, which puts a billi- puts a pass, yeah, the pass priority there. Yeah. Then, yeah. The thing is, if Chongqing had a dried arbor, no priority is passed. I yeah, mean, unfortunately, he did not have dried arbor, so... Yeah. Wah, wah. Okay, wah, sorry. Wah. We just so... Okay, so second stitcher supplier. This is big. Three cards go into the graveyard. Sacrifice both stitcher supplier. Two, Hogo- nine two Hogex are gone already. In that extra. Ah, okay. That's sweet. Yeah. Second stitcher supplier. Sacrifice. Oh, guess what? Third Hogex. Guess, guess what? Guess what? There's somebody, somebody, somebody's waiting right, 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 right there. And I think you cast a Hogex off of this. Like, there's no... <sighs> you lay the land. Do you, you just... cast a Hogex first. Oh, trigger. Okay. Oh, right. No Relic of Progenitus. Sacrifice. Get more cards in the graveyard. Actually, I think he should have just used that Stitcher Supplier and the Blood Gas to cast. Right, okay, never mind. Here's what I know. Okay, so he p- he got a second Blood Gas and he notice when he played the fetch line for turn. So if he, hit, if he came into this scenario, he can... Um, he can take it. Okay, so he yeah. cast the whole gag. Sacrifice the blood gas. I don't think bring back the sorry. Yeah, bring back the, the two uh blood gas. Actually he doesn't need to sacrifice the blood gas. I think you, I think you just go I think you do as much as you can before you cast the whole gag. Mm. S- bef- so you can run into Vegvine. Right, okay, yeah. okay. That's true. But he already cast the second second creature spell, so okay. doesn't mean it doesn't really matter. Does it? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the gag that smacks and attacks is cast and I believe this he attacked for um three, three just here because yeah. it's a one one and a two one. Mm. He's uh, ep- he probably thinking does this have haste? Because he played one this turn and don't maybe he sacked the wrong one. No, I don't think so. Alright, so sacrifice another teacher okay. supplier. Uh there's a venge fine. Is that a venge fine? No, that's not. Right, passes the n- okay, so you know, yeah, something ne- has got a like, no commanding lead, n- nowhere near Tron, nowhere near Tron, yeah, because he has to play this strong piece, <laughs> then pass the turn. Hopefully, he doesn't die. A boreal grazer to block and to it's lay an extra Tron. Okay, has trample, right? Okay, has trample. Okay, never mind. So, he's n- nowhere near Tron, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, Chin Hing's in a lot of trouble. This does not bode. This really does not bode well for him. I do you know. I'm glad. I, I was thinking. of really thinking about building a Tron deck, but now I'm glad I didn't. Because <laughs> 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 I'm like, nah. Tron. Tron tends to well. Tron's very high. Very. Uh, really, I would say I it's, really consist- it's very consistent. I think Tron. Yeah. Once you assemble the Tron, like it's it's super powerful. But like when you don't assemble Tron, like you are playing the fairest game of Magic. Ev- you yeah. Know, true. But the I slowest and the fairest game can, of Magic. You can ever. assemble Tron quite easy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you've got uh ancient stirring, especially if you're playing green, right? Like you've got ancient stirrings. You've got. Uh, oh, that was the game. Yeah. Sorry, can I just bring it up, Ugin? Treasure map. Ugin, the spirit dragon? Is it comma? The comma. Spirit. Yeah, it's okay. You can. Okay. You don't have to finish finish the damn thing. What? Why, 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 why? Okay, I was looking at the minus X ability. Oh, the minus X ability. Which, which can, we can possibly save him, but it kills Ugin. Because he. Gek is seven, right? Yeah, Gek is seven. Yeah. But, like, even if he, even if he drops, like, Ugin, you know, with the carrion feeder on the battlefield. 
Like it doesn't do anything. Like the you know the oh, character yeah, just, just sacrifices to your grave, yeah. Boy, yeah. And then you do it next time again. together to make this really a resilient deck against a lot of things. Like grave, even grave hate, like grave diggers cage, right? Just dies to to whole gag, man. Like, like you cast, you can cast, you can cast whole gag from hand, and you can also cast things like, um, you can actually cast your creatures. Yeah, they're castable. Mm. Yeah, so it's like it's like the saying, not the saying, like people are like. Grave, like Graph Digger's Cage will stop things like Phoenix, right? Yeah. You can cast Phoenix. So it's like the same thing. You can still cast your creatures. Yeah, they're not, they're not like... They're not susceptible to Graph like, um, Digger's Cages yeah. in Leyline. So. Cool. All right. We are going for a short break. We are going to the top eight after this in about 25 minutes. So join us then again. In the meantime, I'll put on a replay. You can watch last week's... Uh, Last week's monthlies. And then next week, we're going to have our uh, Eternal Sunday, yep. as usual. Featuring uh, me, Mick. And I don't know who. And guest cast. Guest cast, yeah. yeah. Maybe Alfian, I don't know. Alfian, are you yeah. going to be joining us? Probably not. Probably not. Gosh. Okay. Sorry, Alfian. I don't know. <laughs> okay. We're leaving you out of this. Uh, oh, that was a nature's claim. That's what it was. Okay, we will be back. Remember, join us on the stream Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Singapore time. Twitch.tv slash Games. If you're watching from YouTube, uh, just catch us here live so you can interact with us. And if you're watching from uh, Twitch, of course, you can watch all the replays of all the previous tournaments on, on YouTube.com slash Games. If you like what you see, do share and subscribe on all our social media feeds, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, see you.